Welcome, 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 welcome everyone to Orchids for Dummies. This is Fail Pal Drill, and in today's video, I just want to update all of my subscribers, all of my Fail Pals, on all of my orchids that I am growing in the method of water culture, okay? I am really advocating for water culture for new beginners because once you do it the right way, it is the easiest and best way to grow your orchids indoors. You got to stay tuned. Welcome back, my foul pals. Now, this Phalaenopsis orchid is going to be the one that I am most proud of from converting to water culture because it is probably is probably the first Phalaenopsis orchid that I have brought into my care that has definitely rebloomed for me so quickly. I don't even think I've had this orchid a good month. My all white Phalaenopsis that is fragrant. I mean, she is just a gorgeous Phalaenopsis. Now, I did not notice any new um, leaf development. I did not notice any new root development. Um, I have not been slicing and dicing on her roots. I have not. Um, I have just let her be, okay? Um, if you want to know signs and symptoms of when you should um, change the water in your, in your Phalaenopsis orchid water culture, I would definitely video links for you, okay? Because you're going to be looking for something really fuzzy. But something really clear like this is going to be adequate, okay? And this is going to be fish water right here. Water from my aquarium, which is very pure. Your Phalaenopsis orchids would love and thrive. Stay Come tuned. Back, Fal pals. Now, this beautiful white Phalaenopsis right here that I purchased the day after the orchid that I just showed you. Um, this beautiful baby is still holding her blooms, okay? She still is the most fragrant thing early in the morning for a few hours. And um, the blooms are getting ready to fade, but who wouldn't mind looking at this beautiful bloom, okay? It is still beautiful. Now, I was a little concerned because her leaves are so light. I really do not like orchids with the light leaves because I feel as if something is wrong, as if it's not getting enough nutrients. So putting this orchid in um, water culture, I was very skeptical. Um, there, I have not had to cut and slice and dice any roots. Um, the roots that she has is providing um, enough nutrition for her. I did add some pebbles at the bottom because Fal Pal Diana from Diana's Orchid said that that is what she does. Now, I did take a peek into the crown and what I noticed was a new leaf is coming out. Okay, let me zoom in for you a little bit. So a new leaf is coming out, even with the bloom still on it. So I'm very excited about that. I'm really very excited of all of the success I am having growing in the method of water culture. New beginners, stay now, tuned. Pal Pals, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe, okay? And ring the bell so you will be notified when I ring, when I make a new video, okay, darling? Now, this Phalaenopsis right here I purchased from Mother's for Mother's Day. Um, it was actually one of the first orchids that I um, started back converting to water culture. Okay, I wanted to test the water before I actually put half of my collection into water culture, okay? Um, I will show you each one in individually, but I want, did not want to move this one because um, I do not have one of those flower stakes holding it up. It's actually in the, um, the stand is what is keeping it supported, okay? But as you can see, some of, most of the blooms are still on here. Um, I have not been able to see any new root production, any new leaf um, development, um, but it is still sustaining with the roots that it has. Now, I will have to do some slicing and dicing on those roots, but that's for a future video that you gotta stay tuned for. Welcome back, Fal Pals. Now, a lot of you guys really wanted to know how is that um, species Phalaenopsis Schilleriana from Normans, how is it doing? Um, the leaf is still um, growing, I believe. 
I believe is still growing. It's definitely has grown since you guys have seen it and definitely can tell that it's in my care because the leaf is, the backside of it is purple versus um, the green leaves that it was sent to me in. Um, you will see a lot of new root development, okay? I don't want to really want to disturb her, but can you guys see um, a new root tip that was like mushy and gushy? A new root tip is being developed from it. New root tip, another new root tip. Um, a new root, okay? And that is a new root that came off of an old root. So it is doing just fine, foul pals. Stay tuned. I told you water culture still work. Welcome back, darling. Welcome back. Now, these are my kin windows, kitchen window seal. <laughs> Phalaenopsis orchids, okay, that is growing in water culture. So first up is one that I'm very proud of. It's going to be that seedling my first seedling phalaenopsis and I was really skeptical, really nervous to um, convert it to water culture because I'm not sure if I've ever heard of anyone doing that before. But as you guys can see, um, new root development is in the works. And as long as you have new root development, that orchid is going to be just fine. Next up is going to be my sickest phalaenopsis orchid. Okay, can you see the new root production? These are the roots that she was left with. Um, they don't look to be the best, but it's no ooey and gooey. Let me zoom in on these roots, honey. Can you see the new root development? Okay. So she is going to be just fine. In case you thought that was the same root as two roots. She's actually growing a new leaf. So, Fal Pals, I want new beginners to know, honey, if I'm able to do this, baby, you can do it as well. Okay? This right here is going to be another Phalaenopsis orchid that I purchased maybe Father's Day. I'm not sure. Um, it's also going to be the Phalaenopsis with the kikis on it. It has two kikis. And um, it seems that everyone is doing just fine. Where's that other kiki? Right there. It's only one leaf. Um, the roots are doing just fine. Okay. So it's a happy camper. It's a happy camper. And this is the last orchid from my window seal. It only had two leaves. Allegedly, it is growing a third leaf. I said allegedly because um, it's been like that for some time and I've not, it's not really come up out of there. Okay, normally a leaf you would be able to see maybe a couple of inches um, per week, but um, no. And the leaves does not look that, look to be the best, but I mean, this is how she was. So it's really nothing to do with the fact that she's in water culture. Okay, of anything, this is gonna be the best set up for her. I have not done any slicing and dicing. I don't see any new root development. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Um, uh, that glare. It's a glare, but honey, it's some kind of fuzziness up in here, honey. Wherever that is, oh, it scared me. So maybe I need to spray her roots. I don't know, but I'm gonna be on the lookout for it. Okay, I will say one of the things that sets it back is because it only has two leaves. I sometimes forget which way to face her, placing her back into the light. So that would definitely make her a little bit set back. But we gonna be on the lookout for it, so stay Next tuned. Next up, Fal Pals, it's gonna be those kikis that Fal Pal Diana from Diana's Orchids that she sent me. And I mean, these are just the jewel of my eye, honey. I gotta go handheld. Please, hold on, stay tuned. <laughs> these are my babies. I am so excited because um, 
This one is actually growing a new leaf. Oh, I'm sorry, no it's not. At least I don't think so. I don't think so, but it's definitely growing um, a lot of new roots. Um, definitely happy in water culture. I definitely called Foul Pal Diana and asked her um, for any tips that would help me um, to give her babies the best of care. And ever since we had our conversation, I have really seen just a change in my um, Phalaenopsis orchids. I really have. Do you see all of these beautiful roots? I mean, she is just gorgeous. That leaf was damaged um, while she was being shipped here, so it's no nutrient deficiencies. This is her little brother, and the little brother definitely has a new root growing. Can you see it? It's purple. But yes, Fail Pals, water culture is still works. I'm now just changing the water once a week because it doesn't bother me. Um, they did last two weeks. And so it's just a comfort to know that if I was busy and I had to um, be away from them, that two weeks they are able to survive in full water culture for that long without the roots being mushy and gushy. Okay, so next up on the list is going to be two of the orchids that I'm also proud of. This baby right here was given to me from um, some garden shop here in Alabama. I'm sorry, I can't think of the name off the top of my head. And um, the leaves are, she's pulling nutrients, but that's because she is really making such a huge comeback. Okay, can you see this beautiful new leaf? that setback leaf okay this is my care <laughs> you know anytime you see some skinny or something that's me and that's because i stopped fertilizing them so much um until i started to have some new growth now with it being in water culture the only fertilizer i am giving it is the fish water okay the water from the fish aquarium that is all that she is getting and um then i would put her in some pure rain water and that's all that it is taking for mama to have 58 new roots, honey. I mean, just new roots everywhere. And this is what you guys want. I'm nobody special. I'm nobody special. All I did to achieve all of this new success was I just started looking at what I was doing and what I could be doing better. And that was predominantly just leaving my orchids alone giving them time to acclimate to my environment and, you know, just not over fertilizing. Like I tell you guys in all of my videos, a little dab will do you. So I am very excited to show you guys that you could just grow orchids in water. It is not crazy, it's not insane, okay? A lot of people have been doing it way before me, okay? I'm just joining in because mama is not one of those people that likes to sit at home watering orchids on Sunday. Stay tuned. Up next are going to be my sickest of orchids. And let me explain why, or let me explain what had happened, okay? Now, you guys know that this is one of those orchids, or this is an orchid that was given to me by my um, physician. They told me, hey, you say you grow orchids. If you can grow this, you can grow anything. You're de you definitely can bring any orchid back from death. Now, I have had these two leaves produced in my care, okay? And um, it's really reflective on what I've been doing with my orchids, which is just laying off of the fertilizer, okay? Because we're not trying to burn any roots. Now, she was doing well. She was recovering. She had produced all of these roots. Well, not all, but I mean, well, all, but I'm saying it's only two or three. She had produced these roots and she was doing good. As you can see, the bark still attached to the roots because I knocked her over. She was one of the orchids that got knocked over, um, unfortunately. And so now I've just been trying my best to get her to um, bounce back, make a full recovery. Um, I, got, I guess you guys were able to see 
that um, she is trying to make some new root development. I know that you guys see that white ooey and gooey, but I'm gonna keep an eye out on it. I mean, this is not definitely not the worst case scenario. It's not the best case scenario, but I'm gonna be on the lookout for it. If I see any roots rotting away, Oh, okay, yeah, that's kind of bad. Yeah, I'm going to have to get for the snow mode treatment. I didn't know it was that bad. Looking at it in person, it's not that bad, but I have the camera on Zoom, so I'm able to see it a little bit more. Because with it being so much sn snow mode, what will happen is um, the new root. Oh, Lord, and mercy out. These roots have not rotted away. That's for a future video, okay? That's for a future video. Stay tuned. I mean, well, not stay tuned. Let me keep going. I'm almost done. Now, this orchid, my husband swears, is on Death's Door. And um, you guys know, this is the first Phalaenopsis orchid that I had to rebloom for me. And she rebloomed for me in water culture. Okay, so her last two original leaves are, she's using all of the all of those nutrients um, to produce a new leaf and she's going to try to produce new roots as well okay but what i have to do is just be on the lookout make sure there is no snow mold and things of that sort because the reason she's pulling um, nutrients from her leaves in such an expedited way is because um, when she was in water culture a couple of weeks ago um, i made them she drunk all the water up and um, she was dry. She was dry um, a lot longer than what she should have been. Okay, so I'm definitely paying the price for that. Now, this orchid right here isn't necessarily sick. It's actually the orchid that my mom purchased me or one of the two orchids that my mom purchased me um, for my birthday back in February. Okay. So it is now um, um, almost July and it is doing okay. These roots are a goner, okay? I have to cut them off or at least pull the vellum off of them because I just changed the water, but the water was all fuzzy and ooey and gooey and stuff. But as you can see, she is really, um, she really does have quite a few um, new roots being um, produced. You can't even see all of the roots that is being produced by this baby okay you can't even see all of it but she's going to be a happy camper okay this is going to be my first um phalaenopsis from the grocery store that i'm going to successfully care for i really believe that i'll get it to rebloom for me okay it's doing everything that it needs to do now and it's surviving in water culture so, fail pals, I'm sorry for such a lengthy video, but I just really want you guys to see the proof in the pudding because I'm going to do more videos centered around water culture because I really believe it is going to be the easiest way for new beginners living indoors to successfully manage their Phalaenopsis orchids. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe and join the Facebook group, Fail Pal. Until next time.